Okie dokie. Today let's try to solve um, the cat problem. And we'll try to solve it three different ways. Uh, let's just grab the cat problem. Um, there's a cat on a boat. And uh, there's a mouse that's uh, three meters away from the cat uh, on the boat. And the cat would like to go and have some lunch. I know that sounds a little bit cruel. Uh, why don't we have him go play with the mouse? That sounds a little bit more gentle. Anyways, uh, here's the dock, uh, and it is 10 meters from the cat on the boat at the, in the beginning of the experiment. Uh, the cat again is 3 meters from the mouse. And, uh, the cat has a mass of 5 kilograms. The boat has a mass of 24 kilograms. And this is the situation before, uh, after the cat, uh, walks 3 meters on the boat and, um, and, uh, um, uh, goes and plays with the mouse uh, there, and we'd like to know how far is the cat uh, from the um, uh, from the dock right here, okay? And of course, the cat has moved, and his claws has moved the light boat, uh, relatively light boat, uh, backwards. So let's see how an engineer might solve this problem. Uh, what an engineer might do at first is guess uh, that the cat, uh, he, he would simplify it. He wouldn't worry about the dock and the 10 meters. He'd just say how much did the cat move. And he might at first guess that it, the cat moved 3 meters. Um, that might be true for a gigantic boat. If it was a gigantic boat, of course, uh, the boat would hardly move. But with a boat uh, this small, although it is a almost five times more massive than the cat, uh, but the boat will move. Uh, so the guess of three for the, um, uh, the guess, uh, would only be good for a big boat, that it would be three. So the, 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 the engineer will guess, but he'll guess smart, okay? And, uh, that won't be a good guess for him. So we'll knock out three. Uh, then he starts guessing, well, they gave me 24 kilograms and 5 kilograms. Maybe I should put three times uh, these things. Of course, these would be outrageous uh, amounts. Uh, so multiplying uh, the numbers given, 24 and 5, uh, would, would give kind of silly answers uh, as far as uh, uh, that is concerned. So I don't think we'll uh, assume that's right. Uh, whether it's 3 times 24 times 5 or 3 times 24, or um, three times five. All of those are a little bit going to be silly answers uh, uh, for the most part. Um, so he starts working on a, maybe a fraction of three. Uh, so he might say, um, "I'm sorry, these papers are not obeying me. I just want to don't want to confuse you with the other uh, solutions quite yet." Um, so he might say 24 plus 5 over 24 plus 5. Uh, that won't work because I'll just give him back 3. That's the same answer as guessing 3. So that won't work too well. Um, how about if it's 3 times 5? Uh, he throws away the 24 over 24. Well, um, this wouldn't work if it was a big boat. If it was a big boat, uh, this might be 5,000 uh, kilograms. And if it's 5,000 kilograms, the, the cat will have moved... Uh, basically zero when we know he moved three meters. Uh, so this doesn't work for a big boat, uh, this formula. Um, let's, let's see another guess. Another guess he might say is, well, maybe you have a 24 uh, uh, plus 5. Well, this is also the big boat. It's almost, it's even worse answer than this. If, if this big boat had a mass of 5,000, uh, the cat would have moved not three meters, but almost zero meters. So a big boat uh, throws that away. Um, 3 times 24 over 5, well, a big boat also would throw this answer away. Because if it was a big boat, we knew the answer would be 3. And if you put 5,000 kilograms in here, you're not going to get a motion of the cat for 3. So that's not good. Um, 3 times 5 over 24 times 5. I know these answers are a little bit getting silly, but we're trying to do the simplest, uh, the simplest prob uh, possible answers. And of course, this wouldn't make any sense because if it was a big boat, uh, um, it would be three over, the fives would cancel and you get three over 5,000 kilograms, which would mean that the cat moved zero when we know he moved, uh, uh, he walked at least three relative to the boat. Okay. Finally, we have this, uh, answer here. And that is um, 3 times 24 over 24 plus 5. Again, we're using 24 and 5 because those were the only numbers given. Uh, 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 we'll worry about the 10 later on. Like I said, the engineer is ignoring that. And um, 
And uh, 3 times 24 over 24 plus 5, if we put a big boat here, um, it would work because um, uh, if it was a big boat, we know the answer would be 3 meters and 5,000 over 5,000 plus 5 would give you a number very close to 3 if you multiplied that out. So the engineer would go with this answer right here. This this seems like the most, uh, the most uh, plausible answer. It's the most simplistic answer. And he would say, well, then the cat would move this amount uh, towards the dock. So if he moved uh, three, uh, th whatever, uh, two, two meters, uh, if this is 10 minus two, he'd, he'd have eight. But he moved this amount, so it'll be 10 uh, minus this amount. Uh, we'll give you about 7.52 uh, meters is uh, how far the cat moved uh, uh, how far the cat is now from the dock. Uh, he didn't notice he didn't quite make it to seven because the boat moved a little bit further uh, there. So um, if uh, if everything was, if the boat was anchored, uh, then if he would have moved three, he would have been at seven. Uh, but he was at 7.52 because the boat moved a little bit. So that's how an engineer solves it. Let's see how a mathematician solves it. Uh, a mathematician, he would simplify the problem, uh, kind of like the the... The, the doc, the, the engineer did, but a little bit even more so. He put the boat center of mass and the cat center of mass in the same because he realized that if the cat, he, he uses some symmetry, uh, mathematicians love to use symmetry. He knows that if the cat walked anywhere on the boat, you'd have the exact same, he, he would walk the same amount. Uh, uh, he, if he walked three meters, uh, the boat would slip under him the same amount no matter where he was on the boat. So he simplifies the problem. Uh, by putting the cat and the boat on uh, uh, the center of mass of both the cat and the boat at the beginning uh, um, <clears throat> on top of each other. And uh, what he'll say is, well, then I don't know how much the cat's going to move. Uh, we'll say he moves X from the center of mass of the original uh, beginning problem. It will say he moves X, and mathematicians love to introduce variables as quickly as possible into um, problems. So, um, uh, what we have here is, uh, that the cat has moved, um, uh, the mathematician says the cat has moved X. Well, if he knows that on the, from the center of mass of the boat, the cat moved three, then the boat from this initial starting point must have moved three minus however much the cat moved, which is three minus X. Once the mathematician has these variables in place, uh, he'll use a center of mass equation. The center of mass is uh, position times mass. And he'll say the center of mass in the before picture has to equal the center of mass in the final picture of the total, uh, the sum of the center of masses. So the center of mass uh, at the beginning, well, the, the cat has a position of zero. Uh, so x is equal to zero. Zero times the mass is zero. And the boat has a position of zero. So zero times the mass of the boat is zero. So the center mass before is zero. Afterwards, um, notice that the cat has moved, uh, has a mass of five. There's the mass. And then the position of the cat, we'll say, is negative x. We'll call this negative, and we'll call this positive uh, direction from zero, starting at zero. So we'll have five times negative x is the, the cat's center of mass. And the boat's center of mass uh, will be 24 kilograms. Remember, the boat was 24. And... Um, 24 times the position of the uh, center of mass of the boat, and it's moved 3 minus x, the boat has. So we have uh, 24 times 3 minus x. Uh, the mathematician will solve this for x, and he'll get this for x, which looks familiar. It's exactly the same solution for the motion of the cat. And once you, uh, once you figure out the motion of the cat towards the dock, you just take 10 minus the motion of the cat, and you'll get how far the cat is from the dock. And the mathematician also... Um, uh, received uh, 7.52 meters uh, for the answer, which he better because uh, that's what the engineer got, and he was correct. Okay. Uh, finally, let's take, uh, we're going to have the big guy here, the physicist. He's going to now try to solve the problem. Let's see how he does it. Um, well, the physicist, um, he'll start off with the center of mass equation. Uh, first of all, physicists love to uh, introduce uh, many more. Uh, mathematicians will use symmetry to get only one variable, so they don't have to do very complicated uh, uh, algebra. Uh, physicists don't care about algebra because they're allowed to use uh, computers and calculators. So they'll introduce as many variables as they want, although they, the smart ones uh, will behave a lot more like mathematicians and uh, uh, 
uh, uh, the best physicists act like engineers, uh, mathematicians, and physicists, all three of them uh, uh, combined, and they, they get answers. But they get, I'm sorry, I should say a great physicist can act like each, anyone, uh, any, an engineer, a, a mathematician, or a physicist to solve a problem um, and uh, uh, thereby uh, uh, be able to solve a multitude of problems that sometimes mathematicians or engineers can't solve. Um, so, let's take a look at the, we have the variables, um, well, there's not a variable, the cat is at 10. Uh, the center of mass of the boat, we don't know, because no one told us the position of the boat, so we'll call it B. Um, the center, the, 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 the center of mass of the cat afterwards, we'll call C, and the center of mass of the boat afterwards, we'll call D. So these are all the positions, A, B, C, and D, and we have the masses, so we can figure out the center of masses of the, uh, before picture. In the before picture, you had, um, uh, uh, 10 uh, x is uh, center mass is x times uh, x times mass. So the x position is 10. So 10 times a mass, the cat is 5. Uh, plus we'll have to do the boat, which is uh, 24 uh, times a position of b, which we do not know. Um, afterwards, the cat will be pl at, at a point uh, c, which we do not know. We'll put c, a mass of 5. Uh, that's x times mass of the cat. And here is the x times mass of the um uh, x times mass of, uh, the, the center of mass of the boat is at D, which we do not know, but that we know the mass is, um, is, uh, 24 for the boat. So here's the cat, uh, and here's the boat, and here's the cat and the boat, uh, finally and initially or before. Uh, then a mathematician would know that the velocity of the cat relative to the dock is equal to the velocity of the cat, uh, relative to the boat, plus the velocity of the boat uh, relative to the um, uh, dock. Uh, so this is a relati uh, Galilean uh, relativistic uh, equation. And um, physicists know that the velocity is equal to the derivative of uh, uh, x over t. Uh, so we'll take the derivative of x over t for each of these things. We'll just, uh, we'll just convert them from velocities to derivatives. And then the physicist would multiply through by dt, because that's all the same. And he changed the 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 the, um, the, 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 the derivative uh, differential uh, to a, a, a difference uh, delta. Uh, delta, of course, means final minus initial. So this will be the cat's position relative to the dock at the end of the experiment. The cat's position relative to the dock at the beginning of the experiment. The cat's pos the cat's position relative to the boat center of mass at the end of the uh, uh, experiment, the cat's position relative to the boat at the beginning of the experiment, uh, the position of the boat uh, relative to the dock at the end of the experiment minus the position of the boat at the um, uh, from the dock uh, initially. So let's see what we have here. Uh, well, the cat uh, distance from the dock finally is actually exactly what we want to know. We want to know how far in the final picture the cat is from the dock. So that's our murder. Um, the cat from the dock initially, we know that what that was. From the dock to the cat at the beginning of the experiment, it was 10. So we'll put a 10 in there. Uh, the cat from the boat, uh, finally, um, well, let's do the cat from the boat initially. Uh, the cat from the boat initially was simply uh, A uh, minus B uh, is the distance. Uh, this distance right here is 10 minus whatever B is. That's uh, this distance. It's not 3, uh, but it's just 10 minus B. Uh, so, or, or A minus B is another way to say it. So, the distance, uh, from, from, from the, of the cat from the boat at the beginning was A minus B. I put that right here in parentheses. Now, what was it finally? Well, it was A minus B, what it was initially, minus 3. So, it was A minus B, uh, minus 3. What was the cat's position to the boat at the end of the experiment? It was wherever it was at the beginning of the experiment, minus 3. That's relative to the boat, not the dock. Be careful of that. So it's moved three from its position it was on the, the cat's position on the boat. Um, what was the boat's uh, distance from the dock uh, initially? Uh, initially, the, the distance was B. So for the initial, I put a B. And finally, it was a D right there. And so we get this equation. Uh, it has a multitude of uh, variables, unfortunately. Uh, one... 
Uh, we know A uh, is 10, so that'll be fine. But we don't know B and we don't know D, so that's uh, that's B, D, uh, that's three variables, one equation. We cannot solve that. So what we'll have to do is go to our equation that we uh, kind of ignored up here. Uh, remember, we just jumped right to the velocity. That had nothing to do with this equation. It was a center of mass equation. And what we can do is solve. There's a D here and there's a B. We'll swing that over and swing the C5 over. Um, so notice that we'll have um, we'll have 10 times 5 minus 5 times C. That's 10 times 5 minus 5 times C. That's these two people. And if you swing that over, you can divide out the 24 because there's a 24 in both. So there's the 24. And what you'll be left with if you swing this over is D minus B because the 24 will be gone. So a little bit of algebra, this equation can turn into this equation. Although in algebra, usually we solve for one variable. Uh, we physicists will solve sometimes for two variables because we notice them in another equation right here, D minus B. And so we have D minus B equals this, and we have a D minus B right here, and we take the opportunity to plug this in for this. So here's the CD right there, there's the 10. Uh, this A minus B and A minus B cancel. You'll have the minus 3 right there, and then plus and D minus B plus, who is D minus B? He's all these people. So I took those people, plugged them in there, and there they appear right there. And now we do have only one murderer, Mr. C. Uh, I call this cat, uh, distance of cat from the dock at the end. I call this C, but C is also uh, the distance of the cat from the dock. So both of these are the same variables, even though I haven't subscripted them uh, formally. Uh, but if you solve for, put a C here and a C here and solve that with a calculator or do it with algebra, uh, you'll get that the C is equal to 7.52. Uh, meters also. So the physicist got the same answer that the uh, mathematician got and that the engineer got. So I just wanted to show you three different um, uh, approaches towards uh, the exact same problem. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to any comments you have at the bottom. Thank you very much. There we go. Make sure you get all of that just to show you. Uh, there you go. All right, hopefully you've got the whole picture there. All right.